Today, we are finally gonna take a look at some bullish upcoming NFT whitelist that you can go out and grind for, one of which is minting for absolutely free and currently selling for thousands of dollars on the secondary whitelist market. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? So every project on today's list has to do with gaming. That wasn't by design. The meta is still free mints with a low supply and some sort of token attached to them so people can speculate about a token airdrop. Now I know this week we did have a successful Ordinals Mint, which had nothing to do with a token airdrop. And while I do think we will see those kinds of successes once in a while, the main meta is still token related. So with that in mind, let's take a look at our first project, which is Goat Gaming. Now, although they are building their own games, the first of which is Mighty Action Heroes, which you can already play today. This is much more than a one game play as Goat Gaming is building a gaming infrastructure who currently have a play to airdrop campaign that you can already farm today. I did recently cover it in one of my airdrop videos and I will be doing a full tutorial on how to farm this as I do believe this is one worth farming, especially if you put actual effort into it and play their games. As I do believe you can be airdropped hundreds of dollars, which for a lot of people who aren't very exposed to crypto, this can be a great way to build up your crypto portfolio for absolutely free with no risk. But today isn't about airdrops, it's about NFTs. And although their NFT is not free, I do believe this is one worth getting your hands on. As I have spoken with the team many times, I even met with them in Dubai at Token 2049. And I do think holding this NFT is going to get you some very good rewards. Now they haven't revealed any numbers to me just yet on what a potential token airdrop could look like. But after having many conversations with them, I could tell you that they understand what they have to do in order to please their community. They've looked at a lot of the other projects that did airdrops, the ones that were successful and weren't successful. And I personally believe they understand the importance of keeping your community happy. So this is definitely a project that's at the top of my list in terms of upcoming whitelists. And depending on the price that their NFT is trading for on the secondary market, I'll consider loading up more. So that's the first project. The second project is a free mint and that is Jungle, which is a project I have mentioned a couple of times in the past. However, they are beginning to ramp up their whitelist distribution. So if you haven't already gotten your hands on this whitelist, I would definitely put effort as this is the project I mentioned in the intro where I've seen their whitelist trade as high as $1,700 on the secondary market. So if you don't know Jungle, it is a first person arena style mobile shooter with RPG progression. So different characters, gun skins, upgrades, and all that. They did drop this trailer showcasing some of their gameplay and characters. The footage, of course, is a little outdated. This is a demo and the actual game is going to look a lot better than this. I already have access to their test version on my phone. I have played it and it does play really well. It's a lot of fun. So perhaps I will do a more detailed video on it in the near future. I know they do have some big updates coming to their game in a couple of weeks. So I'll probably wait for those to drop before showing it in a video. But what I'm not waiting for is getting whitelisted for this project because like I said, it is already hyped. It is trading for a lot of money on the secondary market and it does have some good utility. The NFT is going to function as a factory NFT, meaning it's going to allow you to create other assets that you could potentially make some money from as well as get you access to their token. So if the token is successful, the NFT is going to go up in value. Now they also have some really good backers. If you take a look at their Twitter bio, you could see that they're backed by Bitcraft as well as Delphi Digital, which in my experience, I've seen them invest in some really good stuff. So whenever I see their name as an investor into a project, for me, this is a green flag. Now they also recently mentioned that they will be launching on Solana, the supply for this NFT is going to be 1000 NFTs. And like I said, it is going to be a free mint. So zero risk, meaning it is definitely worth getting your hands on. Of all the NFTs that I've looked at recently, Jungle and Goat Gaming are pretty much the top two on my whitelist priority list. Now, when it comes to the low supply free mints in the gaming sector, there are a ton that I can cover. I was going through a list over the weekend to see which ones I'm excited about, which 
which ones I want to go and get whitelist for. But without speaking to the teams, it is hard to determine which ones are actually going to be successful. Obviously, you want them to have some really strong backers, especially if they're going to launch a token and the NFT is closely linked to the token in terms of speculation about an airdrop. Because if the token doesn't do well, the NFT is pretty much useless. Now, a prime example of this is Dark Machines, who if we look on their Twitter bio, you can see that they are backed by Tencent Games, who have published some massive games like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, League of Legends, Wild Rift, Pokemon Unite, and a bunch of others, all of which have generated millions and millions in revenues. So this is a great start. However, if I take a look at this demo that they dropped roughly a month ago, and keep in mind, this is just a demo, so I don't wanna be too harsh here, but I do feel like it lacks a little bit of personality. There's no cute like anime character that draws people in. It's a lot darker and with robots, which is kind of niche. And the same thing goes when I jump on the website. I do feel it lacks like some personality or some good branding. So this one is tough for me because they do have some good backers, but I'm still questioning like how bullish I am on this project. So it's definitely one I would take a look at because there's 333 NFTs. It's a free mint. And especially if this gets you access to their token, generally those NFTs perform well, but I would like to see more in terms of IP creation. Now, on the other hand, even though there is no link between these two projects, other than them launching in web three and having free mints for their NFTs, if you jump on the website for Everreach Labs, they have this character here that greets you and already this pulls people in, right? It's like this anime character. It shows you a little bit of what they're going for with the game, even though there is no game demo. So again, it's hard to judge this kind of stuff, but they're off to a good start with the branding. This game is already also on both Epic and Steam. However, that's only to add it to your wish list. You can't test the game out or anything like that. And like I said, I didn't see any gameplay trailers. What they did drop is this short teaser trailer on their Twitter. However, I did notice it says Q2 2024, and that was probably their plan. I understand if they pushed it due to the market just sucking, especially for gaming, gaming coins have not been doing good outside of a few winners. So if I was dropping a project, I'd probably want to delay it as well, but it's definitely one I would still check out. Again, this is going to be a free mint. It's a relatively low supply at 800 NFTs and holding the NFT is going to get you access to their token. They've already announced that it's going to get you multiple airdrops. It's also going to give you token multipliers and it will have in-game benefits. Next on the list, we have Robo Kaiden. And this one caught my attention mainly because of their game and their branding. A lot of bright colors. The characters remind me of something out of like Pixar or Disney, very different to what we're seeing in a lot of games. And the gameplay also looks really cool. It's a third person shooter, a lot of action going on in the trailer. You see you have these companions and it's also going to be a free mint. I believe the supply for this one is only 800 NFTs. And as you can see in the Twitter bio, they did already announce the Kaiden token and it's backed by AVAX. So hopefully AVAX is going to come in and provide some sort of support to their NFT collection as they want as many projects on their chain to be as successful as possible. Last but not least, I did want to mention this small little update from L3E7. They did drop a sneak peek of their website, which looks aesthetically pleasing. I come from a front end dev background where I built a ton of websites for eight years. So whenever I see a nice website, I like to geek out over it. And sometimes it pays off. That's exactly how I found Azuki. That's exactly how I found KPR. And in this picture, you can also see some of their PFPs. So hopefully it means we are getting closer to the PFP drop. Now their Genesis collection currently sits just under three ETH, obviously down pretty bad from the all time highs of 10 ETH, but I'm still very bullish on what they are building. And it's still in my whitelist to get list, which I guess doesn't exist, but if you watch my videos, it's still on my list for whitelist that I think you should be getting. I'm still holding the Genesis NFT, so I will have a small say in what the supply will be as well as the price as the Genesis holders do get to vote on what those numbers are going to be. We also benefit as we get a 20%, I believe, cut from the mint fees. So maybe the Genesis holders are going to go greedy and price it super high. But if they want the collection to be successful, ideally, they put it at a price point 
point and supply that is going to mint out and make minters money. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my videos reach a wider audience. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching you Crypto Gorilla. Peace.